Next, we're going to Australia. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey guys, thanks for coming here. What up, everybody? My name is Ben. Hey, what's up, I'm Harris. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Olivia. <laughs> hey, what's up, I'm Toronto. really humid <laughs> and um, I mean I think it was more of like uh, surreal that we were actually there you know 7003 where are the water meters oh here we are alright welcome to your new Australia oh home. here we go let's see what this is 70th floor with as long as it's better than my apartment oh damn Nice, actually. Yeah. What the? Oh my god! Okay, it has Dude, a TV. Hella. This is this is like a party place. The kitchen with a TV on it. I call this bed. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, it's nice and warm. Oh. What the? This is how we roll. So yeah, like it was it was crazy because uh. It was like one of the first times we went international with everyone not going at the same time. So it was first of all, it was a, like a few of us and then the rest were here, everyone scattered around. You know, we got there, it was a little exciting, but it wasn't as crazy. But as soon as everyone else got there, it just like Australia blew up or something. I don't know, like it was insane. It, it just went, went wild, you know? <laughs> This was my first time in Australia and I'm really glad that I got to come with the Quest crew and all the guys and Lydia and part of my family too. Yeah, we're in the shot! We're in the shot now! Get out of here! Get it out! Get out! Um, it was definitely an experience I'll never forget because we went to so many places. We went to the Botanical Gardens, we went to the Opera House. We went and walked so much that um, I could barely stand at the end of the day. I just knocked out. Fungi. Fungi. I have nothing to this. Fungi. One of the first sights we saw when we got to Australia, of course, is the Sydney Opera House. I mean, it's such an iconic place that, of course, is the first thing we wanted to go see. And once we got there, it looked just like the postcards. Like the way that it is on the Travel Channel, that we wanted to film footage of us dancing in front of it right away. <laughs> What I love the most about traveling is that since I was a kid, I had been moving around and seeing different cultures, and I feel like that every time I see something different or meet new people, it opens up my mind to look at things in a different perspective. So I, I love the fact that I can do that and always looking at different cities and eating new food and meeting new people. Um, just, just an amazing part of it. Some interesting differences we saw in Australia. G'day, mate. How you get it? Everyone used to get confused about Hawk's accent, like British and Australian. But once we got there, how you going? How you going? How you going? How you? How you going? How you? How you going? How you going? My shit, you spat my bitch. How's this going? I don't see how people are confused. It's so different. And then like some of us tried to copy the Australian accent and it got mixed in with the British accent so we were all just confused people. 
Welcome to the Australian forest where we're here checking out the herbs. Return the serve! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're now qualified. Oh, 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 oh. Teaching class in Australia was crazy because I'd never been to Australia and I thought that was crazy for me, but for some students that are in Australia, um, they've always wanted to take class from us or they've always wanted to meet us and, and for them it's a different experience than you know someone that you teach back in LA where they can see us anytime or they can come to a weekly class so for them it was definitely um, more of like a once in a lifetime experience but for us we could say the same exact thing for being there. So when we first got to the first venue, it was actually pretty like chill. It was a small spot. It's not that small, but it was pretty small. But like when we uh, got to the top, because it was like a dome thing, people saw us. I guess they saw our hairs or something from the top, and as soon as they saw it, it was just a huge roar of like screaming and yelling. It was like what the freak? I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't gonna expect that. Uh, the people are just so just make you feel like uh, you're at home, so I love the Australian bands. Bands in Australia were crazy, they're like the loudest and like the most body producing heat fans we've ever seen. I thought the fans out there were very excited to see us, especially since this was our first time out there and we've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of messages all over all of our so social networks to come, come to Australia, come to Australia, we really want to see you. Doing the show was, was a little bit scary for me at first. I was a little bit nervous because it was uh, a new format and we had Lydia on for the first time, like doing a full out set. And I didn't know how that was gonna turn out. I didn't know if, you know, if we were gonna just immediately click and be used to it right away. But it, it was, it felt very natural. And uh, the crowd just loved it. Like whenever she came out, it was just boom, big old applause. And it really turned out exactly as I hoped. My overall thoughts of the whole trip was, um, it took a lot of work, you know, but I think being able to just perform for the fans out there, it just made it worth it. Like, it made me forget all the everyday practices to, like, <laughs> how whatever AM it was. trip basically are um, that the people you meet are what make a trip fun and the people that you go with and I already know the people I went with are fun but I didn't know how the people were going to be out there but they were awesome everybody was really friendly and nice and, and they got our humor and they joked with us and they had fun with us and they coincidentally just love to do all the things that we do so for me it was it was a really great connection that I had with the people in Australia and I hope we can come back soon. We have no 
idea where our next destination is going to be at, but for me, I think that's part of the beauty, and that's what makes it really exciting and really fun. Because you know, um, if you knew what was coming up next with everything in life, it would just be boring. So hopefully, um, Quest Crew will be at a city near you next. Good.